I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is just a piece of cloth. That's all it really is. But when a little breeze comes along, she stirs and comes to life, flutters and snaps in the wind, all red, white, and blue. And then you realize that no other piece of cloth could ever be quite like her. Beautiful, isn't she? We call her Old Glory. And for nearly 200 years now, she's been a proud symbol of hope and freedom for generation after generation of Americans. Often, we refer to her as a Star Spangled Banner. But just how often do you Stop to think about what those stars and stripes really mean. Take a look at those stars and see for yourself. They make you feel as free as the countless stars in the deep night sky. And those stripes, they're bars of blood to any dictator who would try to take that freedom from us. Look at her and remember where she's been. Look at her again and see the proud symbol of a country that has grown from 13 little colonies to a nation of 50 united and sovereign states. Look at her and think of the liberties you enjoy, the freedom to choose what you want to do with your life, to live where you choose, to say what you choose, to worship the way you choose, to work where you choose, Oh, yes. Even to enjoy the all-American right to gripe as you choose. Look at her once again. Now think of the opportunities available to you in this great land she represents. Be grateful that under her colors, you can dream the biggest dream you can conceive. And with the help of God, it can come true. Yes, she may be just a piece of cloth, but your whole life is wrapped up in her. The work you do, the meals you eat, the time you spend with your family, the things your children learn in school, and the strange and wonderful feeling you get when you're sitting in church or when you're on your knees to pray. Oh, by the way, next time you're on your knees, remember her and all that she stands for. Pray that she may wave with honor and integrity. Pray that her citizens may continue to love liberty more than life itself. That they may continue to treasure the priceless privileges bought with the blood of their forefathers. For that is the only way that she may continue to wave proudly and unsoiled over the land of the free and the home of the brave. And remember, she may be just a piece of cloth that's all. Until you put your soul into her and give her meaning, then she becomes a symbol of liberty and decency and fair dealing for everyone. Just a piece of cloth. Until you breathe life into her. Until you realize that she's done for everything you believe in. Everything you pray for. And with your help and the help of Almighty God, she will ever remain Oh! 
Mr. Dimitch Davis.